unlock and do like that. And uh, what you want to do is turn on your Xbox and then go all the way to system settings and then memory. And then go to your USB drive and go ahead and configure it. And it only takes about 30 seconds. Just let it go. Alright, after it's done, you want to go to your hard drive, and then game profiles, and then select the game profile you want to mod, and then move it over to the memory unit. And then you can go and make sure that it's there. Alright, once you're back to the computer, you're going to have to uh, go to megaupload.com, and you're going to have to download USB GT modding programs, which I uploaded myself. And then go ahead and type in the little capture at the top and then hit download file. And, and once you've done that, there's a little bit of a waiting time, not too long. Uh, just wait for that to go. But in the meantime, you can go to uh, Google and type in 7-zip and then search for that and you'll see at the very top and you want this because if you guys know what WinRAR is it's basically like WinRAR but it's free so you should download that and you need it for this because it is in a 7-zip format and 7-zip is pretty good you should definitely download it anyways and then just click on the regular download but I already have it so I'm not going to download it and you'll get this folder right here, USB modding program, and uh, open that up, and then click on into the folders, and then you want to open up USB Explorer, click on that, and then go ahead and plug in your uh, USB drive that you uh, put your profile on, and then go to file, open device, and then click on content. And your profile should be right there. And then go ahead and keep clicking it until you get to the very end. And then uh, hit extract to your input. You want to extract to your desktop, but I already have it. So I'm just going to extract it again and replace it. And yeah, but saving it to your desktop is the best spot because it's easy to find. And I'm just going to replace it. And then you can just minimize uh, USB Explorer. And then next, what you want to open up is go back to that folder. Hit back. Uh, yeah, hit back. And then uh, go to EasyGT 2.2 folder. And then open up EasyGT 2.2. And then hit run if it asks you. And then just hit back again. And then you can go ahead and open up Modio because Modio takes a little while to load, so you probably want to go ahead and open it right now. And then you can just minimize or exit out of that. And then when you're in EasyGT, you just go to the little person icon at the top and hit open. And then uh, open the file that was on your desktop, which is right there, and then hit uh, open. And then you should see your uh, gamertag show up right there, where I highlight it. And then just go to the add tab, and I'm going to do uh, press Y to fly. So in order to do that, you're going to go ahead and start typing. Type press, and if Mario opens up, just minimize it. And minimize it again. Alright. Type in press, and then hit Y, that little Y button, and then 2, and then fly. And now if you want to make it colored, just highlight the whole thing, and then click whatever color you want. And then once you're done with that, you're going to want to go to the options tab. But And if you want multiple colors, just highlight like certain parts of your GT, and you can just do different colors. And it looks really cool sometimes. And then you go to options, and then you want to make a mod profile number. And now if you see your profile at the top, right there, that number, you want to make the mod profile number anything but the last number in there. And then just hit save. 
and then save it to your desktop again. And you should see a folder appear like it just did. And you can exit out of uh, Easy GT. And then uh, open up that folder. And then go all the way to the very last file, just like in USB Explorer. And then pull up Modio and drag it into Modio. And then you can exit out of that folder. <laughs> And then you should see your Mario profile on there. And then you can exit out of anything on Mario except for your uh, profile. And then click Rehash and Resign. And when you see at the bottom left corner it says Rehash and Resign, then you're good and you can exit out. And then open up back USB Explorer. And then go all the way back. Just keep in those dots until you get to content. I want you there to double click content and then inject folder and then inject that folder you just save to your desktop and that'll be your monitor profile and then you said okay and now you want to go back to your xbox and you can pull out your usb drive and then plug it in your xbox and i'll show you what to do in a couple seconds all right so you're going to want to go to your xbox and go ahead and plug in your usb drive and then you're going to want to sign up to your profile Mine is uh, MMX Wrecked, and then you're going to want to launch Modern Warfare 2 after that. So, once it's there, multiplayer, player, and then you want to go to Xbox Live. And then once you're at Xbox Live, you're going to want to select it and then sign out. And sign into your modern profile and select the default avatar. And we won't be able to play on any. You won't be able to make an avatar anyway, so just pick one, and then it'll be like, you can't play Xbox Live. So then click, uh, it'll prompt you to sign in to the profile, just sign into that, and then, yeah, there you have it. You have your mod profile. Press Y to apply as mine, you can make whatever you want. It's pretty cool, I hope you like this video. Also, if you guys are interested in Temper Siege, you might want to check out this website called MMXMods.com. They're pretty legit, and they only charge like $10 for Temper Siege and $5 for infection. And I also put a lot of tutorials up in the modding general dis discussion, so you might want to check those out, because I give you a lot of programs in that mega upload file that'll come in handy, and you guys can look forward to some more videos from me, and remember to subscribe, and thanks for watching.